Joel chapter 2. Pray for my thumb. I jammed it when we played volleyball at the prison. I need to be totally healed for our basketball games. Chapter 2, verse 32. Why don't you guess how I'm in? You with me? Amen. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as Yahweh said, and the remnant who call, hallelujah, who call on Yahweh. Once again it says, call on his name, call on his name. So the challenge is, hallelujah, where in scripture does it say men should stop calling on his name? Let us turn to the good news of John chapter 17. John 17, verse 6. This is the Messiah praying. Verse 5 says, And now, O Father, glorify thou thy own self with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Verse 6. I have manifest what? Name. Not names. I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me. So we see the disciples were taught the name Yahweh. The disciples were taught the name Yahweh because the word says he manifested his name. Amen. Come on, saints, we're speaking about spiritual bastards. Amen. In the name of Yahshua. And a bastard is someone who's born out of covenant. Mm -hmm. A bastard is someone who is born out of covenant. In order to have covenant, you must have the covenant keeping name. The reason why the Elohim of Yisrael is called the covenant keeper is because whenever he gave his name, he gave his covenant. When you build a relationship outside of covenant, the relationship has no power. Covenant is agreement. When you build a relationship outside of agreement, each one has the right to disrespect the other. But when you build a relationship based on covenant, you've got to keep covenant in order to keep the relationship. Otherwise, you are a bastard, meaning that you were born without, and you're born without covenant. The Heavenly Father gave us his name because in giving us his name, he is showing, hallelujah, that he keeps covenant. Mm -hmm. In this ministry, in the name of Yahshua, we keep covenant in his name. Hallelujah. David said, I built a house unto his name. We have built a house unto his name. But saints, in the name of Yahshua, you are a spiritual bastard when you do not walk in covenant relationship with Yahweh. When you do not walk in relationship with what he has called you to do and what he has spoken over your life. Is everyone hearing the word? Amen. Let us turn to Ephesians chapter 3. Come on, saints. Yes. Speaking about the name, once again, the challenge. Hold on, we'll see. Praise your Father, Yah. I will not allow anyone with an education to disagree with me. People who don't have an education, you can rest on your ignorance. Amen? Amen. But if you have an education in the name of Yahshua, I will not allow you to disagree with me. And the pastors that we have been dealing with in the name of Yahshua, they do not agree with us. But they are forced to deal with us because they have all been taught the name Yahweh and Yahshua. Yes. So, they cannot say that we're in error because we have the covenant-keeping name. Amen. Hallelujah. It's no mystery.
mystery we all know, Hallelujah, that someone changed the name. It's no mystery we all know, Hallelujah, that a spirit of racism exists in the Christian church. It is no mystery that we all know that a spirit of homosexuality is very prevalent in the Christian church. Hallelujah. These are all facts that saved people know and unsaved people. But when we allow people to walk in their foolishness, we become those spiritual bastards. Because when you are under covenant, in order to remain under covenant, you've got to keep it. Come on, saints. Bear with me in the name of Yahshua as we teach. Bastards will not receive the same portion as the children of promise. Once again, the word is also very explicit in the name of Yahshua. Bastards shall not reign with the sons and daughters of Yah. Amen. Hallelujah. I choose not to use the word illegitimate. Amen. I'm going to use the word that appears in the scriptures, which is bastard. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. We're going to do a lot of digging tonight. I remember my sister's wedding in the name of Yahshua. And I remember I was very happy for my sister Allison, Pastor Allison, when she got married. But I could not ignore the hatred that Pastor Kareem's children had for her. Anyone who could see it, it was very evident. It was very evident of the hatred that was there. It was very evident in the name of Yahshua the hatred they had against her because she was joining herself with him even though they were not even his biological children or anything close to that. I'm going to speak the truth. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But in so doing, Pastor Kareem was forced to uplift his covenant with his wife. Amen. Bastards come up against divine order. Bastards come up against divine order. We have a lot of bastards who are pastors. We have a lot of illegitimate pastors. A lot of illegitimate bishops. We have a lot of bastards in the fivefold ministry. Coming up against the sons and daughters of adoption, when I receive adoption, I take upon me the name of my father. When I receive adoption, I receive his name. When I take upon the name of adoption, I receive the name which above every name. The name which is greater than the name Adam. The name which is greater than the name Abel. The name which is greater than the name Seth. I take upon myself that great name and I will not allow a bastard to tell me that they don't know my father. Uh-oh. Ephesians chapter 3. Oh, Are you with me? Ephesians chapter 3. Hold on. We'll see that I will this. This was not my message tonight. Hallelujah. Doing uh, praise and worship. Hallelujah. My message just changed. Hallelujah. I could not ignore the hatred Hallelujah. That my sister had to experience in her wedding. But it reminded me of my own wedding. Hallelujah. The hatred, if, for, for all of you, did, if you came to my wedding, I rebuked. On my wedding, I rebuked. I rebuked my mother in law, and I remember the rebuke. And I said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have some people coming here to judge. Hallelujah. Holding the now. And they're sleeping around whore mummy. Right. <laughs> she got up and left. I was talking about her. <laughs> you listen to me? Yeah. I'm like, she's out of her mind. Hallelujah. She's going to pass me on my wedding day and not speak to me. Hallelujah. In my congregation. Hallelujah. And expect I'm not going to rebuke you. <laughs> Take your things and do 